Welcome to another video from C Graphics. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to make this amazing flyer you are seeing on my screen with Pixel Lab. So now the first thing we'll be doing is to bring in the our background image. So once we bring in our background image, you increase the size to the com covers the canvas, then you centralize it, then you lock your background image so it won't move so now the next thing is we will write our text and i think let me write down the text Dao Buna Chile. and the font i used was Googled regular Googled regular this is it then i increased the then i increased the size to I think 100 or so Okay, it's looking too big. You increase it to 100 and so then I changed the color to white. Then I added stroke. So now for the stroke, the stroke color is white, then the stroke width is so then I went to shadow. I reduced the opacity of the shadow a little, then I reduced the blur radius. Don't think I applied outer glue, then good. Then you centralize it. So after centralizing it, you carefully align it. So now the next thing is to write the other text, which is Daimotum. Okay. So now for that part, the font I used was Jagali Jagali light. If I use Jagali light, then I went to my style and I bold it. Then I changed the color to black. So now for the size, I think I use the size. I use the size to 23 or so. Then I carefully aligned it. And bring in my ruler. Okay, my ruler is already aligned. So. Okay, yeah. well, save. Okay, this is fine. So now the next thing is to write the basketballer. To write basketballer. I think I've copied it already. And for the basketballer, I change the color to white then i think i reduced i reduced the size a little Purchase then i went to my line spacing and i increased the line spacing well i increased the line spacing to don't know what i increased it to shot well, let's let's see oh this is so much let's reduce the line spacing again and this is fine then you centralize it and raise it up a little carefully align it so now the next thing is to write so the Ibrahim as its name so write Ibrahim now with the help of my my grid line and my magnet this will not be a hard thing to do so now for this, so now we'll copy this text and we will write Ibrahim. Then use central you align it to the shape that was created. Now the font, okay the font is the same thing because I copied copied from there. So all we just need to do is to increase the line spacing. So for the light space safe, I don't know, I'll try and create it. Oh, let's see. Let's zoom in so we'll see what we are doing properly. Okay. Let's increase it. Switch it now and test it. So now we'll carefully align it to the ship. Yeah, I think that's all. So now the next thing to do is to bring in the 
first image I used for the design and the first image I used was this one so let's increase it the size let's increase the size then okay let's see let me look at the original the reference poster so I will see how I aligned the, the original design okay okay that's it yeah okay, so now the next thing to do is to go to your is to go to your Purchase color filters I think I reduced the saturation then I added the I added contrast I think I increased the contrast to like 40 and I added the hue. I added hue to it, but well, not too much. So now, if you look at the original, the original design, you notice that the image had on the left hand part, the the lining is the lining is white, and on the right hand part, the lining is yellow. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So now the first thing to do is to is to copy the image. Before I do that, let me lock all these elements before I accidentally move them. The first thing to do is to let me move this to the left a little. Is to copy. Okay, the first thing to do is to copy this image and change it to white. So once you change it to white, go here and increase the, the relative size by one. Now, you send it to the back. As you send it to the back, you carefully, carefully align it. Okay, after doing that, you can okay, let me do small align it okay so after doing that you click on copy and change the color to yellow the color code i used was eff 63 f eff 63 f that's the color code now after doing that you send it to the back and now you carefully align it. Let's zoom in so we'll see what we are doing properly. Cause the okay, let's see. Purchase your tracks today. Okay, this way is okay. Let me adjust the white layer too. This is the advantage of zooming in. So you see what you are doing properly. That's the advantage. Now let me click the screen part. And see? Where is it? Oh, that's too much. The top of it too. Mm, that's it now the next if you notice this yellow outline is covering is is covering this d it's covering the d in damn in the name damn so how are we going to do that we go to our erase tool once we are in our erase tool we clean off this part okay Okay, now everything is looking, it's looking nice, looking nice. And okay, so now let's move to the next step of this design. So now for the next step, you go to your gallery and bring in the next image. So I brought in the next image I used. So now which one is? Okay, I think this one has no background. It's correct. So now increase the size, increase the size to, to 
this turn off then you go to let me use it up a little move it to the raft okay then you go to your color filters and add the saturation so the skin color will pop then for the for the brightness for the brightness i think i increased it because then for the contrast it does too much okay let me leave it as 15 uh, think that's all so now the next thing to do is there's this effect i did in the background this this effect here this effect here i'm going to show you how i did it i didn't import any image there i used a shape then i used texture so let me show you how i did it so first of all you bring in your shape then give it cover shape to circle reduce the opacity and increase the stroke to the end then go to gradient now for the gradient i use the first gradient pattern now for this node the color code is ff8500 ff8500 now for this part the color the color i used and the color code is ffda3b ffda 3 b then i click on ok so now the next thing to do is to reduce the shape till you can't see a hole in it okay this is fine then you go to your blur radius and increase it to the end so after you've done that you size it up size it up a little okay position it okay now you go to texture as you're in texture you select the image you want to put in the shape so now this is the image i used and i carefully sized it and therefore that your size is as 1v1 one ratio one because the shape we use is a say circle so that means it's also a square all the whole edges are equal so endeavor that the size before you start adjusting and they will die saying one v one so now let's let's carefully do this part okay and let's see Okay, okay. And after you've done that, you just click on OK. And I think it's it well sharp. Or is it tutorial video? Never that when you are doing it, you get it. So now the next thing I did was I made sure that the clothes aligned with the background. Like, see the background color is brown, and this this dark part of the cloth should also align with that part. So now that's it, then you send it to the back of all the whole images. Okay, let me bring it down a little. Okay, so now the next thing to do is this X here, this XSX I wrote here, XXXXX. So now how I did that, the Let's bring in our ship. Okay, can't find that how I did it though. So let's see X X X X X X X X X S S X X Okay. Now the you change the color to white and the font I used was Google Regular. Google Regular now for this part you be very careful because this part you, you don't know when you just exit from pixel up that's it so you increase the size a little 
And then that when increasing the size of text like this, in order to use the 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 tool, not dragging it. If you drag it, let me give an example. Let me just continue this video. Therefore, you increase the size from this tool here. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's fine. Now use your relative position to align it to the left and bring it down. It's looking. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is fine. Now you bring your grid line and position here. Now click on copy. As you click on copy, you align it to the to the right and with the help of your grid line so that part should not be difficult to align and that's it ah this design is it's looking beautiful now so i'm glad that you're able to watch this video till the end don't forget to like subscribe click the notification bell i'll see you in the next video